Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about statistical tools. So in data analysis and interpretation, there is a very important role of statistical tools. Basically, you know that we are having a rough data, but for a research study, for determining some results, for getting quality research, we require quality data. What we require, we require quality data. And for getting that, we may use some statistical tools. So in this session, we are going to cover about what is statistical tools and uh, what are various statistical tools. And thereafter, we are going to cover about applications of statistical tools that where we can utilize them in which area, right? One by one. So let's start. Statistical tools are used to collect analyze and interpret the data. So it is going to collect the data. It is going to analyze the data. It is going to analyze the patterns, the meaningful values. And thereafter, it is going to deduce. It, thereafter, it is going to inference. Thereafter, it is going to interpret the meaningful values of that data, right? It can be used to make predictions like forecasting tools for identifying trends and for solving complex problems. So we may use statistical tools for this kind of things. There are many different types of statistical tools with its own strengths and weaknesses. So let's begin. If we talk about that uh, statistical tools we use, we use it for descriptive statistics, for inferential statistics, for predictive analytics, and for data mining. Thereafter, we are going to cover the individual applications of them, right? So in descriptive statistics, these tools are used to describe the data and their findings such as mean, median and mode. You know that in many industries, uh, mean data, median data of any particular uh, uh, data is important, right? It depends from uh, problem to problem, but depends on the data, mean, median, mode, such kind of uh, data that is describe the data. We call it as a descriptive statistics. The second one is inferential statistics. These tools are used to make inferences about the population from the sample data, such as testing for differences in means, right? For such kind of uh, thing, we, we require inferential statistics. Then predictive analytics. These tools are used to predict future outcomes, such as forecasting sales based on the current sales. What are the forecasting statistics? So for that, we, we, we tell them as a predictive analytics and data mining. These tools are used to find hidden patterns and relationships in the data that existed. So basically the tools that we use for such kind of statistics are the first one, a statistical package for social sciences. That is SPSS. It is a widely used software package for statistical analysis and it is easy to use and has a wide range of features, right? So the first uh, popular statistical tool is SPSS, a statistical package for the social sciences, right? For statistical analysis. The second one is R. So R is a free and open source software environment. What is open source? Open source means free to use free to use and free to distribute right free to use and free to distribute we uh, we as on also contribute to the society to the community so it is a free and open source environment for statistical computing and graphics it is very powerful and flexible but can be more difficult to learn than spss because it is completely based on the graphics using this tool one can analyze the statistics very, very, very interestingly. The third one is Minitab. It is a commercial software package for statistical analysis. Similar to SPSS in terms of features and ease of use, many industries and many managerial people use this statistical tools for gathering very useful information from the data. Then we have Stata. It is a commercial software package for statistical analysis and it is more powerful than SPSS and Minitab but can be more difficult to learn. Stata is completely based on the 
statistical analysis of individual topics and it is a very powerful tool and the next one is microsoft excel it is a spreadsheet program that can be used to for basic statistical analysis and it is not as powerful as other statistical tools listed here like stata r minitab but it is easy to use and can be used for simple task so some of the most popular statistical tools like statistical package for social sciences spss r minitab stata in microsoft excel for descriptive statistics inferential predictive and data mining right okay now most popular statistical tools so these tools these five tools which i have discussed it depends it depends that what kind of data we are using the type of data determine the type of statistical tools it does not it does not possible or it does not necessary that if you are using r for particular then you cannot use the mini tab for that right if you are using spss for a particular problem it does not necessary that you should use r for that so depends on the problem depends on the type of data we need to determine that what statistical tools would be required correct it also depends on the research question depends on research question basically based on type of data based on research question and based on desired output we need to choose statistical tool statistical tools can be chosen on the basis of on the basis of what are our types of data what are research questions and what are the desired outcomes getting it correct now in the next lecture we are going to cover about the applications of statistical tools so stay tuned and we are going to discuss about applications of statistical tool in each and every sector so do watch stay tuned subscribe and like the video and if you are having any doubt confusion queries feel free to ask jai hind jai bharat